If you want to learn how to make customizable UI in your Roblox game, such as a left click, a right click, and a hover over button, and you can customize these like I said, as well as learning about a cool new plugin, you're going to want to watch all the way to the end as I reveal how to do it. Alright, welcome back to the channel guys. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add UI, or as Roblox calls it, GUIs, uh, to your Roblox game. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at a uh, how to customize it first. Second, how to script them so that we have a left click, a right click, and a hover. And uh, the last thing I'm going to show you this cool plugin if you have some Robux and you're looking at a uh, plugin to get. Uh, it's really helpful for GUIs. Let's dive right on in. So the first thing you need to know is all UI is placed under starter GUI or the player's GUI. We're not going to get into the player GUI, so don't worry about that today. But starter GUI is where we're going to be working. Um, and what you have to do is you have to place a screen GUI instead of starter GUI. Why do we have to do this? Well, every single UI element has to be held in a screen GUI. It's just, it's just necessary. Otherwise, it won't be visible to the player. But next, we can go ahead and click this plus icon and add a text button. And congratulations, you have your very first UI button. Well, maybe you've done some before, but uh, we can go ahead and scale this up by dragging the corners. Or you can head down to the properties. By the way, if you don't have these two uh, Explorer and properties open, you're going to need them. And you can just go down to the size and change it. Uh, let's give it like a two, 0, 205 by 0, 205. That'll make it a perfect square. And then we can... Um, position it somewhere right here. As you can see, if we drag it lower, you can see that this green line appears. That helps us to know when we've centered it uh, along the x-axis. x, by the way, is horizontal and y is vertical. So once it's along this green dotted line, we know it's centered. So we can go ahead and keep it there. Let's just call this text button uh, right uh, left click. We'll do left click for that one. Ah. Let's duplicate this by hitting Control D or Command D if you're on a Mac. And we can just scoot it over. Make sure that you have um, it in the same position. You'll know if you have these red dotted lines on the top and the bottom. And it'll be centered with the other button we already have. Next, we can just rename this to right click. This will be for our right click function. Next, let's duplicate this one more time and drag it over. And let's just call this hover button. Or let's just call it hover. Now, just because they're not quite even, I'm going to space them out a little bit more, and that looks pretty good, actually. Next, let's learn how to customize them. So, with our left click, let's go ahead and click that, and let's head down to our text section in the properties. Here, we can change the text by going to the text property. Let's just say, uh, left click me. Okay, next, let's hit text scaled, and you'll see what that does in just a second. As you can see, it scales the text so that it fits the button. And if you resize this button at all, it'll fit the text. Next, we can change the text color by clicking here. You can also do RGB, but I'm just going to click this so I can grab the color wheel. I'm going to set this text to like a red color. The next thing we can do is we can also change the font by clicking this font and clicking the drop down. Now, Roblox has a ton of fonts that you can use, um, so I'm just going to go ahead and choose one. That's kind of a uh, weird, like, robotic one, sort of. Uh, I'm going to go with a permanent marker. I actually kind of like this one. Um, and now it's not quite done. I'm not quite happy with this yet. I'm going to change this background color to maybe a gray, but it still looks a little off. And what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to, like the demonstration, change the background transparency. So click this background transparency, and we can change the slider so it's more transparent. And that looks better. You can kind of see through it, and you can also hover over, and you can see a distinct... Um, you know, backdrop when you hover over. Next, let's customize the right click. I'm not going to go over all these again like I did, but I'm just going to change the text to right click me. And then we can change the text color. I'm going to change it to blue like the demonstration. That looks good. Text scaled. Now we can change this font to something else. Let's try um, Indie Flower. That looks uh, a little odd, but I'm going to go with it. Next, we can change this to like a blackish color. And if you go full black, I noticed that you won't, won't be able to notice a hover thing, so I'm going to not have it fully black, I'm going to have it almost all the way black. And then let's go background transparency to about 0.4, and as you can see, we still have this hover over, and it looks pretty nice. Another property you can change is you can change the um, border color, um, and what this is is this, uh, is this little border around the GUI. You can see it uh, more now that I've changed it to red. You can also, if you don't want that border, just change the border size pixel property to zero and you won't have that border anymore. 
All right, perfect. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, move on to the hover button. We're just going to do the same thing. Text scale, change the text to hover over me. We can set, let's just go ahead and change this text to maybe uh, pink. I think that's what I did in the demonstration. Uh, and then you can play with rich text. I'm not going to do it. It doesn't change a whole lot. Let's go in here and let's find a font that we like. I like that one. I think that's fine. Meriwether. Um, and now let's change the background color. I'm going to set it to like a yellow sort of a thing. Um, and then I'm going to, again, change the background transparency to about 0.4. So as you can see, now we have all of our buttons ready to go. Now let's start scripting them so that they actually do things. Inside of our left click, let's insert a local script. A local script is what we script GUIs or UI with. So we can say script.parent.mouse button one click, colon connect function. Whoa. So this sets up a function whenever the user uh, left clicks this button, then we will do the following. So let's just print something. Print the player uh, has left clicked this button. Okay, so obviously you can do other things with this, but I'm going to open up the output and show you when we hit play, we can left click that button and it'll print in the output um, that we left clicked it. So as you can see, I can left click this and the player has left clicked this button. We can do it again and again and as you can see it print, uh, printed it six times and it works just fine. What about right clicking though? So let's insert another local script, but this time into right click, and let's say script.parent.mouse button, oh, two click, colon connect function. So mouse button one is uh, left click, so you just remember one is primary, I guess. Most of the time when we click with the mouse, we use the left click, so number one is our primary way, is left clicking, and number two is right clicking, the one that we don't use as often. So we can just say, uh, wait, let's just go ahead and print the player has left clicked sorry not left my bad right clicked all right now we can go ahead and play this and as you can see if we right click this button we have the player has right clicked but if we just click it with our non right clicking it won't print anything if we click this with our left click it'll work if we right click it it won't do anything so as you can see we have successfully scripted right and left clicking now hovering over is a little more challenging but it's definitely possible. Let's insert a text label into this hover button and we're going to drag it down over here. Okay. I'm actually going to go ahead and this time scale it up to about this size and I'll change the background color to a full black. We don't need to see that um, hover over because this isn't a button. And let's set the text color to a full white. Next, let's change, these, uh, change it so that it's scaled and let's just say you hovered over this button. Okay, let's change this font because I don't like the source, uh, the bi basic one. There we go, antique is fine for me. You can change this, um, I'm actually going to scale it, uh, I don't know how that looks. That looks not very good. Um, <laughs> I'm going to undo that by hitting control or command Z. And next, the last thing I'm going to do is change the background transparency to about 0.3 so that we can kind of see through it. You don't have to do all this, but I'm going to do that. Next, let's head over to this text label and call it hover over text. And um, let's go ahead and set the visibility to false. Next, let's insert a local script into the hover. And this is our last script. We can say local uh, hover over text equals to script dot parent dot hover over text okay so now we have a reference to this text and we can say script dot parent dot mouse enter colon connect function so what this is saying is whenever we drag so mouse enter is whenever we hover over the button then we'll just set the hover hover over text to dot visible to true now let's copy this line of code and let's paste it over here and we'll say mouse uh, leave I believe it is yep leave so that's when we stop hovering over it then we're gonna set the visibility to tr false sorry and that should be everything so let's do a final test so as you can see we can left click we can right click and now we can hover over and it shows the text whenever we hover over the button perfect you hovered over this button and everything works just fine but if you have like a frame which is another thing you can add in UI and it's important um, you can scale this to about the same size as these buttons right here. 
So if you position it over here, okay, and then let's just go ahead and put all these buttons inside the frame and just drag them up. Uh, let's drag that over, drag the hover over like that and then you can also put these all in a frame and then set the frame background transparency to one then if you need you can just make everything invisible with one click now before we leave I'm gonna show you a quick plugin that you might find useful I use it a lot it's called UI design and it's a little expensive I believe it's like around 125 robux or something I'll link it down in the description but it's so helpful if you have the robux um, because it's it's really um, helpful when make when you're making GUIs let me just show you some of the things it can do first off you can roundify these so let's go ahead and click this hover button and let's click the roundify button as you can see it kind of um, makes rounded corners. It doesn't work very well with the um, buttons. Uh, anyway, you can roundify frames and stuff like that. Another thing you can do is easily change color with this slider. You can also position UI perfectly on all devices. So if you want this exactly centered, then you can just click position UI and this will center it for every device, mobile, computer, you name it, Xbox, it'll position it right in the center. Uh, and then the last one is you can also convert things um, with, uh, well, that's actually not the last thing. You can also convert them from like an image button to a text button. You can just change it if you don't want to remake it. And the last thing that you can do is you can create something. So it's really helpful if you have the Robux. I'll link, the uh, link it down in the description if you want to check it out. Um, and with that said, I think that is the end of the video. If you liked it and you enjoyed it and it helped you, please do make sure to subscribe because it'll help me a lot. And make sure to turn on those notifications. Also make sure to check out my Discord server. The link will be in the description as as well as checking out my Patreon page where you can support me. Thanks to my first Patreon. You're still a loyal Patreon, so thank you. If you also want to get your name shouted out in, this, in the next video, make sure to become a Patreon today. Link will also be in the description. And I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.